The air hung heavy with the smell of stale beer and lost hope. Lawrence sat alone in the corner booth shrouded in a haze of cigarette smoke. The flickering neon sign outside cast long, dancing shadows across his face, obscuring his features. He nursed his drink, his eyes fixed on the flickering television screens broadcasting the night's games. Lawrence wasn't just watching the games, he was dissecting them. Every statistic, every player's move, every coaching decision was being analyzed with a keen eye. He had a gift, some said, a knack for predicting the unpredictable world of sports. More accurately, it was a system, a meticulously crafted strategy honed over years of careful observation. He jotted down a few notes in a small leather-bound notebook, his face impassive. The notebook was his Bible, containing the secrets of his success. It was a dangerous game he played, pitting his wits against the house, against the odds, and sometimes against the very people he dealt with. Tonight he could feel eyes on him, a presence he couldn't quite place, a sixth sense perhaps, honed from years of living on the edge. He didn't need to look to know he wasn't alone. Across the room perched at the bar like a predator eyeing its prey sat a woman. She was elegant, with fiery red hair cascading down her shoulders, contrasting sharply with her black attire. Her emerald green eyes, however, held a steely glint, betraying a calculating mind and an unwavering focus. This was no casual observer, her name was Veronica, and she was the enforcer for Sal DeMarco, a notorious bookie who ruled the city's underworld with an iron fist. Sal had a problem, Lawrence. He was winning too much, too consistently. It was disrupting Sal's business and Sal didn't tolerate disruptions. Veronica had been tasked with a simple yet dangerous mission, discover Lawrence's secret. She was to get close to him, gain his trust and uncover the system that made him so successful. Failure was not an option. Sal had made that abundantly clear. Her gaze never left Lawrence. She studied his every move, every twitch of his fingers, every sip of his drink. There was something about him, a quiet confidence that both intrigued and unnerved her. He was a puzzle she was determined to solve, even if it meant playing a dangerous game herself. Lawrence knew she was there, of course. He had sensed her the moment she walked into the bar. Her presence, though, didn't deter him. It only heightened his senses, adding another layer of intrigue to the game he played. He decided to make the first move. Closing his notebook, he casually strolled towards the bar, taking a seat a few stools down from Veronica. He ordered a drink, his eyes meeting hers in the reflection of the dusty mirror behind the bar. A flicker of acknowledgement, nothing more. Busy night? Lawrence asked, breaking the silence. His voice was smooth, with a hint of amusement, as if he were engaging in a casual conversation rather than a high-stakes game of wits. You could say that. You seem to be having a rather interesting evening yourself. Veronica turned to him, a slow, predatory smile spreading across her lips. Her voice was husky with an unspoken promise. Their conversation was a dance, a careful exchange of pleasantries and veiled probes. Lawrence was charming, witty, and frustratingly evasive. Veronica, on the other hand, was direct, bold, and increasingly captivated by the man who seemed to effortlessly deflect her every attempt to delve deeper. As the night wore on, the tension in the air thickened. Lawrence, seemingly engrossed in the game playing on the screen above the bar, subtly checked his phone. A message flashed across the screen, a single line that made his pulse quicken. It was from his insider, a source deep within the league who provided him with the information that gave him his edge. The information was gold, and it came at a price. Lawrence's face remained impassive, betraying nothing of the turmoil brewing inside him. He casually excused himself heading towards the restrooms, his phone clutched tightly in his hand. He needed to make a call, a decision that could change everything. Veronica, never one to miss a beat, watched his every move. She sensed a shift in his demeanor, a subtle change that told her something was amiss. Her instinct screamed at her to follow him, to uncover the truth that he so carefully guarded. The dimly lit hallway leading to the restrooms provided a momentary respite from the noise and the prying eyes. Lawrence ducked into a darkened alcove, his heart pounding in his chest. He dialed the number his voice a low murmur as he spoke. You have information? Yes, but it comes at a price. Their conversation was brief, a negotiation conducted in hushed tones. The price was steep, but Lawrence knew the value of what he held. He was playing a dangerous game, walking a tightrope between success and ruin. 
one wrong move could send him plummeting into the abyss. Back at the bar, Veronica pretended to be engrossed in her drink, but her ears were pricked, straining to catch any sound that might give her a clue as to what Lawrence was up to. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was on the verge of a breakthrough, of finally unraveling the mystery that surrounded him. When Lawrence returned, a subtle change had come over him. He seemed more relaxed, as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. He finished his drink, a knowing smile playing on his lips. He placed a few bills on the counter, enough to cover his tab and leave a generous tip. Leaving so soon? The night is young, but I have other matters to attend to. A word of advice, my dear, sometimes the best bets are the ones you don't make. With that he turned and walked away disappearing into the night. Veronica watched him go, a mixture of frustration and admiration swirling within her. She had failed her mission, but she couldn't help but feel a grudging respect for the man who had outmaneuvered her. Lawrence's words echoed in her mind, sometimes the best bets are the ones you don't make. What did he mean? Was it a cryptic clue to his system or simply a parting shot from a master manipulator? Veronica knew she couldn't return to Sal empty-handed. She had to come up with something, some explanation for her failure. But what? As she pondered her next move she realized that Lawrence had given her something far more valuable than his secret. He had given her a glimpse into the mind of a master strategist, a man who lived on the edge and thrived on the thrill of the game. Lawrence's words echoed in her mind, a tantalizing puzzle she was determined to solve. She would watch him, learn from him, and one day, she would unravel the mystery of the bookie's nemesis. Their game of cat and mouse had just begun. As for Lawrence, he vanished into the labyrinthine streets of the city, his secrets still intact. He knew Veronica would report back to Sal, and that Sal wouldn't take his defeat lightly. But Lawrence was always one step ahead, playing a game only he truly understood. He had won this round but the game was far from over. He knew the price of success, the constant threat that lurked in the shadows. But he wouldn't be deterred. He would continue to play his game, his way, defying the odds and outwitting anyone who dared to stand in his path. The bookie's trap had been set, but Lawrence had no intention of being caught in its snare. He was the hunter, not the hunted, and the city was his hunting ground.